Okay, let's talk about how you can deploy your project into your server using Git. So now I assume that you are familiar with Git. You can um, push and pull and and have your repo at um, GitLab or maybe GitHub. So in this example here, I have this project over at my run cloud managed by my run cloud and the address is this project dash a at timing tech dot my and i also have this project here see i have an index there you can have a look at that and maybe we can also have a look at our um, summary of this web app right okay and then what we'll do now is we'll go over to git and then we can add a repo into our project over in run cloud so i'm using gitlab you can use uh, your self hosted gitlab or custom git or custom git server bitbucket github almost anything so the branch is master that is a project now we are um we are skipping one step here that is going to cause us an error but i'm going to show you, uh, show it to you anyway so we always learn from our mistakes let's do one right now purposely so it says here git authentication error unknown branch or you did register your deployment key now in for run cloud to be able to fetch your files from your repo meaning github or gitlab and to take that and put it into your server wherever it is um, we need to do this deployment key thing all right so it says here to use this function you must place your deployment key into your git repository you can get your deployment key in deployment key section here so these are some of the keys i have in my case i already have the key uh let's say here okay you can copy that okay i already have this in my gitlab it's just that it's not attached into the uh, repo project so in gitlab of course it's different um, wherever you um, host your git if you use github it's somewhere else if you use your own custom git server it's somewhere else but generally on gitlab it's over at settings and at repository and over here it's at deploy keys now if you just copy it if you never add this deploy key into your gitlab you can do that here run cloud 2 for example and that should add that key into this project but in my case because i already have this key in my gitlab i cannot we add it again you see enable key here is still zero but i have a bunch of keys which i added i'm not sure which is which right now i think maybe it's this one if not it's this one so you can add multiple keys into your project um maybe you want it to use you want it you want to use it for some other things like continuous integration stuff like that for testing and whatnot so okay hold on it's still working there all right now i have these two keys one of them is the key from gitlab from run cloud i'm sorry all right once we have that we can try the um git again so back at gitlab it's kidding you know, project a and master branch la 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 oh looks like it works now the next thing that we can do this is your normal page when you have nothing on the server i'm going to do a refresh now click on the refresh button okay there you go project a will be back soon it's kind of like just a normal maintenance uh, uh, page but also there's one more thing that we can do now back here we can do this i'm i'm I've did this before but I deleted the project so I can do a clone in just in case you can use whatever you want most uh, many people are comfortable with writing all the git command in my case I like to use totis git so I'm doing a clone of this project here all right so I have this project right here right now that is the file let's edit that 
no. Okay. Now, there's one more thing that we can do is whereby, you see, we have this web hook here. We can copy this and we can um, use it together with GitLab whereby every time you push a new um, update into GitLab, GitLab can automatically notify RunCloud to, Run to fetch the new changes and update your server. Now, over at GitLab, oops, this one, in your project here, I think it's a repository, no, maybe it's a um, settings integration. And we have this integration here. You can just paste that URL. One more time. This is where you get it from. Back at the Git. This is your project. This is your webhook. And it will be only pulling the master branch. So if you make changes into other branch, you push that into your GitLab, it will not be updated onto the server because it's a different branch. Those that you want to be able to, those that you want to be live on the server, you need to commit and push that into the master branch in this case. But of course, you can define any branch you want. So we've got that. We only want it to trigger when we push something. And webhook. Okay, that should do it. Now to test it out, we have this is now. Let's make a bit of changes here. We'll be back um, in one week. Let's just say that. And let's just maybe change the title here to Welcome to Project A. Save. Don't forget to commit. We're updating that. So, um, updates, a bit of sign there, commit, and push. It's going and going and going, and there you go. Close. Now, let's see if that works. Okay, this is what it used to look like. Let's do a refresh here. There you go. So now no more messy FTP, no more messy uploads. You can just use Git, push to the branch that you want, and it will update your server. All right.